<sighs> well, that was an exhilarating experience last cycle. I actually managed to sneak by those anglerfish and finally discovered the Nomai vessel. I wish I could have explored those towers a bit more, but my expert piloting kind of made that a little hard to do. But I think that's what I'm going to do this cycle. Might as well also see what uh, new things have been updated on the computer. Yeah, got the vessel, and that's about it. Hmm. Yeah, they couldn't send a message out to the other clans because it got damaged in the crash. I guess if anything, it looks like there's still some things in the Sunless City I need to discover, so I might head back there. I'm missing some stuff in the Black Hole Forge as well. Between the Warp Tower and Nick's course line Astral Body. Hmm. I don't remember where that location is, though. Was that on the... If it's corresponding with the forge, it must be inside there, so I'll need to repay a visit to... Riddle Hollow, then. A lot of the towers on the Sun Station, of course. Used to power the Ash Twin project. And not everyone supported its construction. There's a lot of stuff about the Quantum Moon as well that I really need to discover. Especially after that one vision. I don't know what it was about. Or what those symbols translated to. Went to the pilgrimage. The Quantum Moon carried them to the most secret location. And to get there, the, moon ha the shrine needs to be on the north pole of the moon. Coming somewhere within the hourglass twins. I would take the quantum signal coming from somewhere on Giant's Deep. Yeah. So maybe after this cycle and whatever happens to me here, next cycle me can probably try and discover how to get to the quantum moon. For now, I feel like I need to go back. I really want to explore the other towers on the Ash Twin. Unfortunately, I didn't have the time to do it, and maybe I'll discover more stuff about this sun station in my travels. Oop, wrong button. Uh, that's the wrong one. Where is... Hmm. There we go. Well, seeing as how most of the towers are completely covered in sand right now, I might as well go and explore Ember Twins' caves a little bit more. Hmm? Is that... That must be the station that they were talking about. I don't think I've ever seen it, uh, in the past cycles. I'll just... We'll drop here by Shirt's camp. I wonder if there's a cave system down at the base of, of it, their camp. There might be. I think for now. I'll just safely land the ship right here. And get out. I don't think I would be able to stay down here for very long. 
Aha. I do not like the sound of that. I better get in here fast. Now oh, this place is already filling up with sand. And fast. Ooh. Head this way. Alright, not this way. Uh, this way then. Hey. Yeah, that's a quantum shard that I was uh, hearing. Me to a dead cavern. 
Now curious, the rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. Curious, but also alarming. This is a new cave appears to lack any entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems to be the clearest explanation. Hypothesis, if the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on the rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings. I mean, I must be in complete darkness. I'm gonna bring my mentor here to see this. Melora is here too. We theorize that the conscious being is the in contact with the quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness. And being the being can become entangled with the quantum object, and they move together. Friends, Colas has discovered a new quantum rule. He has also promised me that he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. So you become quantum if a quantum object is not observed. Alright, well, hopefully this thing takes me out of this cave. And I'm back here. Oh, this is new. Hmm. Friends, if you find any sign of Colas, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace during our research trip, and has been missing ever since. But Laura, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Colas. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Blur. Colas and I were studying the caves of geology. We hope to learn more about the unique wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where was young Colas lost, my lord? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened at an instant and without warning. I turned away from Colas to examine a sample, and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air. Anona, I'm afraid for him. Hypothesis. We will learn more by examining the northern lake bed cave where Colas disappeared. Search quickly, everyone. We have no time to squander. I don't even know where I am now. Maybe it's because there's still too much light. There we go. It did say you need to be in pitch darkness for this thing to become quantum. Uh, that's the lake bait cave. Were you always standing there? This is the dead end cave. This is a new cave. Hello? This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your neat color and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this the same rock fragment in the cave that we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed? An update, Melora. And I went back to the late bed cave to, to observe this rock again. Said it, sometimes it's there and sometimes it isn't. That means this walk wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. We plan to re examine the northern late bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. Colas is missing. He vanished from the late bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed in the North Pole several days ago, and we are unable to find any trace of him. I don't know how much air he has when he disappeared. I beg any friend reading this, help us recover Colas. Well, I know one thing. I need to find myself an air supply soon. However, I got a bit of a problem, and I have no clue where I am! Oh. Well, there's surface anyways. So, at least I can use this as a waypoint. Oh, well, there's the Ash Twin. Hmm. Looks like a lot of sand has revealed the tower, so maybe I can make my way back to my ship. I can go 
explore there. Or I can go to the Sunless City. I don't even know. Oh, my ship is on the other side of the planet. city right now. I need to get to my ship. And I guess the Sunless City will just have to wait for another cycle. I really want to explore those towers on the Ash Twin right now. As well refuel on fuel as well. Alright, where is the Twin? There it is. That one is covered in cat dice, so there's no way I can explore there right now. Uh, let's just go this way and just make our way around the Ash Twin. I would like to visit the White Hole Station with you, Clary. And ha be happy to explain our findings. Yeah, well, stop using the scroll wall to flirt with my sister in romantic matters, her density rivals and neutron stars, and go meet her on the White Hole Station. I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work there is calling... I'll return with more materials soon. Mm -oh. And judging by the layout of this and the fact that it looks like a giant cyclone, this has got to be the giant steep one. Hmm? Hmm. Weird. Why would they put a, a lift here if it doesn't go anywhere? Wait. Looks like there's a cave system down there. Sand's covering it up though, so I can't get a good look at it. I can't send a probe down there. I guess I'm just gonna have to wait for the sand to go away from here for now.
Uh-oh. Yeah, two more dead no my. And I'm not seeing anything that tell me what happened here. But I think for safety standards, I probably should stay inside the tower at this moment. leaves is the sun one and unfortunately it's a little prickly for me on the other planets that tell the time since the last distance traveled or something. Oh dear. Too far. Too far! Oh! Huh. It's a good thing I'm coming to the... Give her Earth one. There we go. Oh, that sweet, breathable air. there's a lift all the way up here if it doesn't really lead to anything I guess maybe they just use it to get up here to do work all right where was that giant steep tower there it is oh you So there is nothing all the way down here. It's just a way to get back up to the towers if you accidentally fell onto the surface. I'll just wait for the same column to pass. 
passed by before. I'll make a run for my ship. I guess, if anything, I can head back to my ship and see if I can make it to the Sunless City before the cycle resets. Look at the sun and how red it's gotten. I don't have a whole lot of time to explore. And of course, I did have to park my ship on the other side of the planet. Oh, wait. How did my ship get all the way over here? Huh? Um, this is just the entrance to the lift. too much during uh, its rearrangement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never actually explored the bottom of these towers, but it looks like it's just empty space down here. Aside from the peculiar rock, that, that material looks familiar. What resembles the material inside the caves back home. Hmm. They did say that they were sending materials over here from Timber Hurt, so who knows? Uh oh. I know one thing. I wanna get stuck! Else they would be very disappointed in my piloting skills right now. Oh god. Oh! Whoa. Uh oh. And thrusters out. And I'm stuck. <sighs> Alright, where is the damage? There it is. Damage, yeah, it looks like there's damage right here. Hmm, everything else on the ship looks alright. Although, it doesn't look like I'm going to be doing a whole lot of exploring on Amber Twin right now, or any place in this cycle right now. Oh well, I did my best, and maybe next time I'll finally be able to figure out what that sun station is.